Welcome back everyone. You may have an Android phone and for some reason you need to go ahead and re-enable the camera on Snapchat. Now this can happen for a couple of reasons, but I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to go ahead and do it. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your Snapchat up open and you also want to make sure you're logged in. I think it may not work if you haven't logged in yet. So you want to log in and as long as you had that little pop-up that said, you know, enable camera or whatever, you'll pretty much be set for the most part. So what you want to do is you want to hop out of your Snapchat app and you want to make your way over to your settings app. So make your way over to settings just like this. Once you're here, you want to scroll down until you get into applications. So as you can see, there's usually an apps panel somewhere. And right there for me, it's apps and notifications. So you want to go ahead and click apps and notifications. And as you can see, I automatically already have Snapchat up, which is very weird. And that's kind of funny because it shows you that it was a recently open app. But if you don't get there, that's an Android 12 feature probably. You want to go ahead and scroll down until you see Snapchat here. So you want to go and click Snapchat. You'll come straight into here. Now what you want to do is under this permissions panel, you want to go ahead and click here and you want this thing to have your camera as a permission. So as you can see, it said that I don't allow any permissions yet, but you have the option of allowing the camera. So you want to go ahead and click camera right there and you'll get this little pop-up that says camera access, whatever. You want to click either ask every time or allow only while using the app. I'm going to tell you right now, you might as well just allow it to use it every single time you use the app. That's going to be way easier to do. So once you're done with this, all you have to do is hop out and you'll now see that the camera moved from here to here. And now if you go back into your Snapchat app and you're logged in and everything, you will see that you will now be able to use your camera on your Snapchat app. And that's really it. That's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I'll have every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.